This is a video dedicated and pertaining to cults, counter cultural movements, revolutions on the internet, and such silly stuff. I see it a lot. Of, I see it as a lot of mental masturbation, really, but it's interesting from a sociological point of view. Now, let me get uh, something straight first. I am offering nobody any help or advice. I am telling nobody to follow my way. I am giving nobody solutions. Why? Because if I were, then I would be placing myself as an ideal, making myself a cut leader or a cunt. I would be proposing myself as a messiah, promising salvation to the masses. And I don't care to do that. Why am, what am I doing? I am describe, describing an environment. I am describing a situation as I see it. And if I see correctly, then a lot of you will see it around you as well. That's all I'm doing. I'm describing the environment. Now what you do with this information, this description, is your problem. I really don't give a shit, plain and simple. If you can't handle, like in the movie, you can't handle the truth, if you can't handle and cope with life, existence, if it's too much for you, then fucking kill yourself. Why the fuck would I give a shit about some moron who blows himself to bits because he can't get laid? Because that's so uh, such a devastating thing for him that he can't he can't deal with life. He should kill himself. If he's so weak, then his genes, his his nature is not meant to live. Why would I shelter this? Let me use a metaphor to describe my my motives. Let's say our goal is let's say we're living in the forest in a primitive time and I'm telling you and a group of people how uh, creatures certain creatures walk or how uh, to hold my spear in order to get the most velocity or about air pressure or how about how some animals have a keen sense of smell and so on and so forth which could help you in hunting let's say now, I don't give a shit if you accept my advice or if you can even use it, if you're capable of using it and competent. That doesn't concern me. I don't give a shit. I'm offering my accumulated knowledge, in other words, my perspective of the environment as I experienced it. It's information, like knowledge. I'm not offering an application of this knowledge nor do I care to offer an application, nor do I provide a blanket salvation for everybody, as if uh, one uh, solution fits all. You know, this is the solution, follow me. It doesn't work that way. That's how, that's messianic thinking. That's people wanting to present themselves as uh, heroes, that want to be uh, the leaders, that want to be cults. They want to start a movement, a revolution. Well, if you're like that, then good for you. It's really funny that some of you who are like that are accusing me of trying to, to, to be a cult. Now, it's true that in my perspective and my opinions, there is the spiritual element that is not religion, but spirituality, as I perceive it and I understand it, which is a, an acceptance of the world, an acceptance of, uh, of nature. That's what know thyself means. Know thyself means explore your past, embrace your past, good and bad. Learn from your past. Uh, loving nature is not loving parts of it, only the parts you like. Loving nature means I see nature as it is how vicious it is, how bloodthirsty it can become, how cruel it is, how indifferent the world is. And I accept this. 
as I accept this as necessary. I accept this as necessary for my emergence. That is, without it, I know that I would not be here. And since I love myself, then I accept this as a necessary part of my existence. Now, if I'm going to propose uh, an environment, a solution to this, a correction to it, then what I'm really saying is I don't like myself. And I don't want other people like me to ever emerge in the future. So I'm going to change the rules. I'm going to propose a utopia where everything, all the rules are changed so that uh, somebody like me, like me never is born again. He never has to suffer and grow and struggle and survive and be who he is. Because that's what we are. We're the sum of our suffering. We're the sum of our becoming. And if you study metaphysics, the sum of your past means the sum of every interaction that ever happened in the past. And need is nothing more than the experience, the sensation of existing. But that's another story. So if you're some weakling, pathetic fuck who's uh, escaping into electronic uh, fantasy lands and he's annoyed that the real world is not as uh, malleable, he can't restart the game there. He can't uh, create his avatar himself like an avatar and this bothers him. If you're one of those fucks who's looking for a messiah to, uh, to give him a quick fix, you know, like, follow me, turn your backs. Uh, this is a solution. Now, we'll teach these fucking enemies, whether they be uh, women or whatever. We're going to teach them a lesson. We're going to pout. We're going to give them a dose of their own medicine. If you're one of those, then fuck off. Do whatever the fuck you want. Masturbate. Spill your seed on the earth. Uh, waste your life away. Try not to pay anything. Try not to, uh, to take on responsibility. Try to be a child for the rest of your life. If that's what you want to do, then that's fine with me. The system pretty much uh, supports you in that too. It likes people like you, uh, the childlike, the ones who can close themselves off and uh, escape in fantasy lands and not cause much of a trouble except uh, pouting and this passive aggressive uh, method. <coughs> If you want to just play in the fields of the Lord, or the fields of the God, I should say, and just partake and not pay, you know, just fuck around, reducing sex to a meaningless act with no spiritual value, with no uh, consequence, with no end result. If you just want to wallow yourself in uh, hedonism, then you're free to do that. The thing is, no matter how much you try to avoid the costs, you still have to pay. You pay one way or the other. You can't avoid paying. Life is about paying the cost of living. The only way to avoid the paying the cost of living is to blow your fucking head off. Whether you're renting or you think you're escaping the system because uh, the wage slavery, as uh, some fuck I once said, because uh, you're living underground or some uh, countercultural uh, lifestyle, if you think that's escaping pain, then uh, good for you. Carry on. For me, it uh, seems like a, a payment in itself that you'll never pass on your genes. For me, that's a bad payment. That's a negative payment. But for, if for you, that's, this is a positive thing, then who am I to, uh, to tell you to do otherwise? I'm not here to lead anybody to tell them that my life is the example everybody should follow. In fact, in the West, with this uh, culture of no culture, it's geared towards this uh, choice. That is, you can live any life you want just as long as you don't uh, threaten the uh, system itself. So you turning your back while you still go to work and you still pay your rent and you just bitch from afar but nothing comes of it, and you organize these protests and you cry and you say how unfair the world is. If it amounts to nothing but uh, that, then the system don't give a shit. You can continue doing it. I mean, this is uh, Nazi groups that...